Welcome to lecture 9. I will now briefly describe the steps that you will need to do to go from the dashboard that we've shown before in the earlier videos into our integrated dashboard. So first of all, instead of using the local sample data, we would like to use live data from our cloud server. We still reuse the data dictionary JS as strawberry data utils JS to clean our data. And we will use a front end UI framework called Bulma to create a bit of a nicer looking dashboard. It goes too far to show you the entire implementation of this dashboard, but I will show a few key elements. First of all, the HTML file will be a lot bigger. We still include the Plotly and Dunt4JS library, but we also add the Bulma CSS file for the styling of the dashboard. You will notice that there are a lot more elements which are needed for Bulma to create a nice looking dashboard. But in the end, it still contains the elements where we put the tables from our data. In our JavaScript file, where we fetch the data, we now define a URL on our strawberry field server. If you know the exact ID of your sensor, you put it in there and you can collect the data from your sensor. For the rest, it's very similar to what we've done in previous videos. We create a data frame from clean data and we show the clean data in the end using this plot function. We also use the describe function that we shown in a few videos before, which gave errors because the data was not clean yet. And now we can see on the dashboard certain statistics about each column. What's also included is the data that we threw out, and this we can use to, to figure out what went wrong. This is how the final result looks like. We have the data dictionary, a statistical description of the data, so things like a mean, a minimum, a maximum of values. So where we see that the air humidity is between 21 and 66%. And the temperature is between 21 degrees and 39 degrees with an average of 26 degrees. Here you see the clean data set. And here you see that we discarded one row of data where the humidity and temperature was missing. 